pepper soup I am. You want to eat me pepper soup? Mm. Oh yo, it is night. Wait till morning. Oh listen, what sound are you hearing? It's, it's raining. You want me to go out under this rain and prepare pepper soup for you? I want it. I want it now, now. I want it. I want it so bad. I have to eat it now. Wait till morning. Okay, I will prepare it. When morning comes, in fact, at first crow, I will go to the market. I will buy all the things. I will prepare it for you. Don't no, I will die before morning. You will not die. I will die. You will not die. I will die before morning. Okay, sleep. Okay. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Oh, no. You will not die. Yes, the food is ready. Why are you frowning? I have prepared the, the food. Is it because you're anxious? You waited for so long, don't worry. The food is here. Okay. Is it because it's hot? Don't worry. Don't worry, let me blow it to see you. Okay. Hmm? okay, let me feed you. Don't worry, let me feed you now. Let me feed you. Don't worry. Go back. You, that was the, the yam porridge you asked for. I don't want it. Oh, you? Throughout yesterday, in the night, you cried. You said you wanted to eat yam porridge. Very early this morning, I rushed to the market. I collected the best of spices. And I prepared them. You said you wanted to eat. Why? The sight of it is turning my stomach. I don't want it. Don't cry, okay? Okay, okay. Don't cry, don't cry. What do you want to eat? Okay, okay. Hmm? What do you want? Grass cutter. I want to use the grass cutter. That is a problem. Grass cutter is not the kind of thing you place on a table in the market. I still have to go into the grass cutter. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I will go. I will get you grass cutter. Oh, you? I will get you grass cutter. Oh, Nem, Ebena, Ebena. Oh, Ozu, I will get you grass cutter. Okay? I don't know what I will do. I will begin to ask native doctors want to get me grass cutter. Don't worry, say promise. I'm going to You're eating it. Of course, I'm eating it. You say you won't eat it. Don't you know that looking at it is making me want to vomit? Because I'm eating it. Oh, can I go? 
Can I call somebody to eat it on my behalf? Okay, fine. Would you rather I throw it away? I want me to throw it away. After all this sweat. Mutufu. Okay. Are you happy now? You are happy. Because I've thrown it away. Okay, come, let's go inside. Because I know that uh, dogs and goats will soon come here. When they begin to eat it again, we begin to vomit. I'm eating it as a human being. It's making you to throw up. When dogs begin to eat it, you cut off your head. Or it will make you purge. <coughs> it's okay, it's okay. Let us go inside. Oh, no. Please, don't, don't keep the, the plate. It's enough that you say you will not eat. Chalu, Chalu, wait, wait. Mm. Oh, you, why are you humming now? Why are they humming? I'm hungry. I know you are hungry. You can, you will you eat me? I'm not grass cutter. I still have to go and get grass cutter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Papi, I'm sorry. Oh. I know you say I'm complaining too much, or um, that I'm giving you too much problem. Not so. Oyo, I'm not complaining. I have not complained about your complaint, have I? Papi, hold me. Okay. Let me put my head on your shoulder. Okay. Alright, my dear. Papi. Mm. I don't want the bush meat again. You don't want the bush meat again. Are you angry? Oh you? If you were not Oyo, and if I were not Papi, I would have been angry. I'm not angry at you. Not at all. 
I'm angry because of the condition. The way this pregnancy has turned the loving woman that I know. I know that pregnancy is one of the things that can turn any loving woman into a nagging nightmare. So I know it's a natural thing. Why are you puckering your face? What is this? What is it now? You just called me a nightmare. Sorry, I didn't mean it that way. No, no, that's not what I mean. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's still a very fresh meat too. I killed this yesterday. So don't begin to look at it as if it's an old stock. Thank you very much, Papi. Thank you, Papi. No, don't even thank me. Thank my wife. If my wife hadn't rejected it, it wouldn't have gotten to you. We, we even thank your wife too. Remember, this is not only smiles. Remember, you have taken my meat now. Tomorrow, if I call you to come and help me in my farm work, you will not begin to say no. Ah, no problem. Hold it like human beings, not like Tom Tom Ball. Listen. To prepare this very thing is not easy. I don't want you to go and waste my effort. Get to Ozuza, get to Taze, prepare it very, very well. If you don't know how to prepare, tell one girl to prepare it for you because you, all of you are up to the age of marriage. <laughs> huh? Thank no you, problem. Papi. 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 Any problem? There is no problem. It's just that I was missing you inside the house. Then I heard your voice outside. I decided to come and see you. Okay. Papi, that's my bush meat you just gave away. Oh. That was the bush meat you rejected. That was the one I gave to them. What would I have done? Do I have to leave it to your ear to decay? It's okay. You don't have to explain. Uh, come, let's go inside. I want you to pat my stomach. Okay. Let's go inside. Uh, you will not even hold me. And I would like you when you hold my, put your hand on Do my I carry it? You want me to carry you? Yes. By the gods. It's night already. Yes, and you've been sleeping since afternoon. You did not even wake me to watch the sunset. You know how I love to watch the sunset. It's the most beautiful thing in the world. Are you about to cry? No, I am not about to cry. Oh, of course, you're right. You're already crying. Look at the tears. Here. Mm -hmm. oh. Where are you going? Let me go outside. Since you won't allow me rest, let me go outside and rest. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gene. You're calling me a nightmare again. Did I say nightmare now? Who called you a nightmare? Where? Did you get out from the wind? You said that I, I, I do not allow you to sleep at night. Is it not only nightmares that do not allow people to sleep at night? For you? The other day, you called me a nightmare. Today, you're referring me to it again. Listen, I'll be outside then. If there's any problem, call me. I want to eat. You don't want to eat? I say I want to eat. Am I a child? You are a child in this case. Don't I know when I want to eat? You don't! What do you want to eat? Unfortunately, you are giving it to those village boys that my roasted grass cutter. You are roasted grass cutter? Papi, can we have it back? No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can you hunt another one for me? No, not today. Tomorrow. For today, I'll, I'll, I'll eat um um bone soup. Just warm it and let it burn a little. I'll, I'll eat it like that. Then tomorrow you go and hunt another grass cutter for me. 
but I, I don't want female grass cutter anymore. I want the male one. Those female ones, they eat a lot and then they have shit in, too much in their stomach. And you have to clean all that up. So I want the male one. <laughs> Good. I want you to be specific now. Tell me which one you want. We have different ranges and age groups and age brackets. Which age bracket of grass cutter do you need? Do you need the youth? Do you need the adult? Do you need the elderly ones or the sucklings? Let me know. Since we have become this, you take the population of this, you do census of, of, of grass cutters. I normally don't go inside the bush to go and do, do, do conduct census. This one has shit inside this, this. Okay, fine. I'll look for the one that I've gone for medical checkup. So where are you going? You said here you needed the soup pond. I want to go and get firewood enough to burn the soup. Do you need the pot burned too? I can burn them. Don't love me again. You don't love me again. Okay, I will not burn your soup again. I want to eat the burnt soup. Let me go and burn it now. With your permission, I want to take the light. That is, if you need your soup burnt or if you want it burnt. Can I go? I see if it has a pool tree of grass cutters in the bush. Now get me grass cutter. I want to eat but the soup of grass cutter. Get out of the I will get the grass cutter if I see it. I don't see it. That's what I want. Mm. 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 Did I do it well? Do you think I can dance? Young lady, from wherever you might have come, don't you greet elders in your place? <sighs> Ibema. Ibema is my name. Box of beauty. I'm a servant in this village. Often early in life, I've lived with family after family, working in their farms and getting paid a little to cater for my few needs. And until someday, who knows, a husband may come along to ask my hand in marriage and all my troubles will melt away. For now, I'm going to farm and I dance on my way to make myself happy. Is that how you greet elders in your place? All the things you have just said? Um, greetings. I greet. You look troubled. What is the problem? Is it your wife? Or your your work? Your neighbors? Well, I'm I'm troubled, but I won't tell you why. You have a gun. What do you hunt? Well, I hunt uh, all kinds of animals, but right now I am looking for grass quarters. Yeah, I can't see any. That's what my wife requires now. I've been moving from one section of the bush to another, looking for grass quarters, but uh, <coughs> luck doesn't seem to be on my side. Don't worry, they will come with the evening, okay? Why are you talking as if you're so sure? Well, my wife nags. She's pregnant and you know, nagging is very peculiar with uh, women who are pregnant, but 
these days the nagging has become so much that I find it difficult to go home. I mean, and stay with the nagging. That's why I'm here. Well, maybe I'll hang around and see if I can get grass cutter for her. That's what she requested for before I go home. If not, I don't feel comfortable going home. Come and walk me to the farm. Talk to me. I listen. I don't nag. A servant finds no one to nag except the leaves that she has to weed when they grow too fast after she has weeded them before. Farm. What are you called? Bappy. That's a pet name my wife used to call me when we were living in Fernanda Po. Hmm. I used to walk in rubber plantation and then hunt then, but uh, I lost everything I had. I lost my money, I lost everything, my property, and I'm home. Oh. All right, Papi, walk me to the farm and tell me how you lost all your money. Come. Walk you to the farm? Game. Okay. Tell me and I'll tell you. Yep. Tell me, tell me. Mm -hmm. Tell me what is in a bag and everyone carries his own. Wisdom. Oh, good. That's correct. <laughs> I thought all husbands were dull. Mm -hmm. And the only wisdom they possessed was how to be slaves to their wives. <laughs> now it's my turn. Mm -hmm. okay. Tell me, tell me. Mm -hmm. Tell me the land that has a river with a big fish, even bigger than the small river, with 32 rocks surrounding the river. Tell me. <laughs> That's a simple one. Okay. Okay. It is the mouth. The land is the mouth. Mm -hmm. The little river is the spittle. Mm -hmm. And the big fish, bigger than the river, is the tongue. Mm -hmm. And uh, the 32 rocks surrounding the river are the tits. You see? <laughs> Correct. You are the smart one now. <laughs> you see, I thought all you do is weed, walk, walk like the normal farm hands, but you're smart. <laughs> <laughs> wait. So wait. Can you see? See what? The air. Come on, who sees the air? No one can see the air. Hold on. Okay. Just look. Keep looking. Even if you can't find it. Keep searching. Into the air. And without far away look in your eyes. Then you begin to move with me. That is how to dance to Ego Mo. It is a dance of the spirit. Use your imagination. Imagine the music of drums. Just move with me. Do you like it? Well, yes, but why do you choose to dance the dance of the spirit? Is it not good to know a little of everything? I'm mostly on my own, so I imagine a lot. Do you find that strange? Well... Come, let me show you where flowers can be found in this bush. Flowers? Yeah, and if you're looking for grass cutters, I know where they sleep. Come. So where have you been all day? I went into the bush to look for grass cutter. Why not the person who said I should go and get you grass cutter? Well, I didn't see you coming here with anyone. Or did you leave it outside? I didn't kill any. I think the grass cutter got smarter. Maybe because of your special demand. You were looking for a special breed. I did not see them. Anyway, when you left, I ate something. 
that made my whole body start scratching. I, I, I ate on ripe plantain and it just tore my whole body apart. First, there was this constant pain in my left leg, you know, and then it spread up to my thighs. And before I knew what was happening, even my right leg too was the same thing. The thing was itching me, and then all my body started just irritating me and itching me. Did it get up to your tongue and probably your hair? Huh? It did not get my tongue. My bag, my stomach, my breast, my legs, my hands, everywhere. It was just itching me. But I did not scratch it all. You know it's not good to scratch your body when you're pregnant and you feel an irritation. It, it, it just gives you stretch marks. So I did not scratch. And then I wanted to take a shower. But I realized that the water in the house was almost finished. I had to wait for you to come back. So you go and fetch water for me. To have my bath. Papi, it's... You know why I'm so dependent on you to do everything for me? It's because I'm pregnant though. Ah, because if I was not pregnant, I would not be waiting for you to do everything for me. Hey! Papa, you're sleeping! You're sleeping now! You're sleeping now! I'm, I'm, I'm telling you my problems and you're sleeping! Eh, because you don't care now! You don't care! After you, you say I'm, I'm, I'm nagging too much, am I nagging now? All I'm doing is just complaining, telling you what has been happening uh, after you say I'm nagging. Is nagging and complaining the same thing? Complaining is when it is too much, it's worse than nagging. That is what we're doing. You're nagging too much and you're complaining too much. You combine the two, it's bad for a woman. I can't even tell you what the problem is. Is it not you that made me pregnant? <laughs> Papi? Yes? Papi, where are you going to? I'm going to hunt uh, grass cutter for you. I didn't ask you to hunt any grass cutter for me. I don't want grass cutters today. Don't worry. Oh, you, you begin to like it as soon as I bring it back. I don't want grass cutter. Okay, I will add them to look at dog cats, whichever one you. Come back, I don't want to. I anything. said, don't worry. I will get you anything you want. Okay, you come back and meet me. Your wife? Of course. She cried, she nagged, she disturbed me in every way, every sense of it. And you thought of me? Of course, I had to think of you. <laughs> Look, Iluma, take me to that your farm. Tell me those beautiful stories. It, it, it makes me comfortable. It makes me forget all those sorrows. It makes me forget all those things that that nag used to give me. Eh? Okay, let's go. Let's go to your farm. You're gone. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> you know when I'm close to you? I feel like I'm hypnotized. Those things you used to tell me, the way you used to care, I can't think of any other thing but you. Let's go Friends are what I do not have. Only me and my farms. The farms that I work in. I'm glad to have someone to talk to. You know, even I keep wondering what I would have been doing if I hadn't met you. Maybe I would have been wandering the streets, picking papers, raving mad, because her nagging really, really drives me crazy, to be honest with you. Tell me, did you look forward to seeing me today? I mean, did you wake up in the morning wanting to see me? And did your heart leap in joy when I finally came? Yes, I did. And my heart did leap. 
Wema, mm. I wished to see you today and I'm happy I've seen you. I wish to see you tomorrow and the next day. In fact, I wish to stay close to you forever. <laughs> thank you. Thank you? Mm-hmm. Why are you thanking me? And why that smile? It feels so good to know that someone misses you. And someone <sighs> thinks of you. And wants to see you. Ben, I want to ask you, did you miss me? Did you wish to see me today? Did you, did you think of me? Oh, I thought of nothing else. I kept wishing that your wife wouldn't nag so much at you, so that you would at least get a good night rest. But my wishes, I guess, did not come true. I'm happy. Is the burden in my mind. You've made me lighter. Ibema, mm. I wish there were hot around here. I would have slept like a baby. I would have slept like a log. Ibema sang, sing for me. A song? Yes, a song. The kind of song that touches the soul, that makes you forget your sorrows, that touches the heart. You have the voice, just sing for me. Mmm, push on, push, push, push. Anyway. Okay. Okoro biana bomo. Ene nebe jegalo. Abo biana bomo. Ene nebe jegalo. Umaka na bomo. Ene nebe jegalo. Oh yo yo, and I never jolly. Papi mo jim jim, papi papi mo jim jim, and I never jolly. Today again, you went out this morning, you came back this evening without any grass cutter. Yes. Yes, what happened? To me or to grass cutters? I don't live with grass cutters. They are not my tenants, I'm not their landlord. If I see them, I kill them. They did not come out today, they probably they are having their celebration or meeting. So why are you asking me what happened? What do you think I ate when you left the house this morning and came back late in the evening? And what do you think I ate? Oh, you don't start. Biko. Don't start for you're so wicked. You don't care if I'm dying or if I'm leaving. You got me pregnant. And I... Where are you going? I'm going outside. You don't want me to have peace inside. So let me see if I can get peace outside. That is what I'm going to do. For two days you have been coming to this farm. For two good days you have been coming to this farm. Where did you walk? Where is the evidence of work you put in here? Show me where is the evidence. Oh, so you have been coming here to sleep. You have been coming to this farm to sleep. Oh are you blind? Mm -mm. Are you blind? If you are blind, let me show you. Oh. Are these not weights? Look around, open your eyes. Are these not wits? These are wits. Look, open your eyes. These are wits. These are wits, open your eyes. Now, dig the hole and start walking now. Dig the hole and start walking. Oh, just like that. Eh? Okay. Walk well! Oh, nice. Look! Look! Out! Walk well! Don't even know how to walk! Hey! Where my wife? I swear! Ah, my life! Do the walk! Oh. See where it's here. See where it's here. Walk! Walk! Oh. Hey! hey. Jim, Jim, 
Papi, why are you sitting here alone? What is wrong? All is well. I just want to sit alone. <laughs> but your face does not look all right, though. Who upset you? I said I'm fine. I just want to be left alone. Hey, ha, ah, Papi, now you're nagging, no? I hope you know that. You're nagging now. You've become a, a nagging husband. Anyway, I made food for you. I'm not hungry. <laughs> Papi, not this food though. This food is delicious. I'm sure you'll like it. Let me go and bring it. Papi! Why has she suddenly turned so good, so nice? She must be up to something. Papi, my papi. I have said I'm not hungry. I papi, don't know why just eat yourself. the food. My husband, this is your favorite. I'm sure you would like it. How did you get fish? I thought uh, fish had uh, finished in, in our house. My husband, don't worry. You know what I did? I sent all those village boys to go to the market and buy me some fish. Just eat. I'm sure you will like it. Papi, you know, I want us to be living like this. In peace. No quarreling. Okay, get me water. Get me water to wash okay. my hand. I'll do anything for you. Is it only water you want? Let me bring water. Mm. Hey, my husband. Why has he, she suddenly changed? She must want to I brought you water. Wash your hand, my husband. Let me help you. Let me let me sit with you. So you can no, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, Ah, my husband, don't worry now. I should be taking care of you. Are you not my husband? The way you are sitting now, I'm not going to eat you or eat the food. Okay, let me feed you. Don't feed me. Don't worry. <laughs> you like it? Yes. No, I don't want to throw up. <laughs> you know, your pregnancy is something else. You see, you know, this is the way we were living before. And then you became pregnant and then became... A nightmare. I didn't say that. Papim, complete what you wanted to say before. I did not say that. Did you? Even if you called me a nightmare, mm. it would not have made us quarrel. See, Papim, nothing will ever make us quarrel again. I'm trying to change. No more nagging. No more nagging. No more quarreling. Hey, hey. I'm beginning to thank Kulisa Binigwe for that already. <laughs> you mean it? That is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> that is my wife. Hey, Papim, eat your food. Oh? You know, this is the way we should be. Mm -hmm. I know. This is the way we were living, not the way we should And we will still live like this forever and ever and ever. Amen. Oh, no. Let, let's just wait. Let's not just be too fast. Until you know, pregnancy has a way of. Uh, of uh, Papi, if you want to call me nightmare, girl, you call me. Oh. Not nightmare. Did oh, I say drink, oh, drink water. Don't no. worry. I don't want you to be the one that is nagging now. <laughs> oh, yum. Papi. You said no more nagging. No more nagging. I will mean it. Yes. You will see. Just eat. Papi. 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 <laughs> oh yo again again oh yo I had a bad dream so what because you had a bad is that why you're crying so why are you shouting why are you shouting don't you know that I'm pregnant you, you can't pet me eh I have been petting you all along I have petted in fact I have over petted you what will I continue to pet you like that Simply because you are pregnant, I cannot die petting you because you are pregnant. You are not the only pregnant woman in this village. So if you tell me that, my wife, sorry, don't cry again, is that a bad thing? It is a bad thing. Because that is what has been aggravating this your, your, your behavior. 
That is what I have been doing along. This time around, oh, you cry. Cry more, cry more and more. Let me see whether it is going to change you for a change. Mm, you're very wicked. Agreed. I hate you. Oh. Oh, I hate you. Oh. You are not ashamed. Oh, you are you not ashamed? Every day, people look at look at people watching us. Are we the only married couple in this village? You're very wicked. And you're not ashamed of that. If you're not, I am. You're, you're, I am you're ashamed. Very wicked. Can you oh. see what I'm just saying? No, say that shout. Why are you pursuing me? I thought you should have said outside nagging. If you don't feel you're sorry for yourself for you, why don't you feel sorry for this boy inside you? Rest so that he will rest. Who will rest? My baby is a girl. Is and a my girl. daughter is not complaining, no. She's not complaining. After all, she knows everything that I'm going through. This is a baby boy. He feels for me. He feels what I'm feeling. That's why you complain that he's kicking. It's a girl. My daughter. Is a boy. My daughter. My son. My daughter. Then we go again. We are quarreling over the sex of this baby. We don't even know whether it's a boy or a girl. Is that not what you want? You always want to quarrel. Are you not the cause of the quarrel? Who started it? Oh, who started it this morning? Who started crying? Who, who, why couldn't you tell me sorry? A, a simple door I would have stopped crying. Would I have still been crying if you had told me sorry? No. But, but, but my husband wants to be talking, talking, talking like, like a pregnant woman. So where are you going now? Nag, when that your nagging stops, when the doors in this house settle, the fire you are setting in this house, I want you to enjoy it alone. When it dies down, then you go, I will come home. Come back here. You should go. 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 It's even better for you to sleep, sleep, sleep outside. Sleep outside. Don't come back to this house. Nonsense. Because you always like to run away from your responsibilities. You, 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 you. Let me stay there alone. If I don't see anybody to complain to, I'll be talking to myself. Deba, come here. My wife needs you to help her in the kitchen, eh? And after that, you go straight to the farm. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Is it? I'm tired. I'm tired of being a servant. When I went inside after you called me, he beat me. He said I was a dull girl. He said I ought to have finished sweeping the compound long ago before he came to call me to help his wife in the kitchen. Did your father say that? All right, don't cry. Come, come and sit down and have a rest first. Before you walk, if I will have a
Is this not the bush track where you say my husband comes to hunt grass cutters? How come there is no sign of him anywhere? Maybe he went on their track. Whose track? The grass cutters track, of course. Deep. Papi, so this is the grass cutter that you left the house since in the morning to go and catch. I have seen the grass cutter and it is very big. Indeed. It's very, very big. Come. You see, this person, this is my newfound love. So I want you to know it from now. You send me out of the house every day with your incessant nagging. You complain? What do you think I will do? I'm a human being. I am human. I run to the forest to forget my sorrow. You know what God did for me? He gave me this servant girl. Who smiles at me where you frown at me. She makes me happy where you make me unhappy. With your nagging, I do the right. You do you say you want the left. Hey! Oh, they love to say what they right. Help! Help! Stop shouting. Help! Take me out. Come. Take me come, away come, come. from here before I die. Don't run away. Come, Just come. take me away from here. I am dead. You give me more. I headache. am dead. Papi. Papi. Help! Papi. You keep a man who has blood, fiber, and bones. Papi. And you keep rumbling him. With your incessant demands, I give you the supply, you reject the supply. Yeah! And you expect me to sit like this and take and assimilate whatever nonsense you give it to me. No, I will not. Come here, one man. One man, come down May the gods forbid. Eh? Hey. So that is what she has been doing, walking all over the place instead of working in the farm. Where is she now? I don't know. All I know is that while I was at home marrying my husband, she stayed in the bush and made herself a bush wife. Hey. Wherever she may be, let her remain there. If she comes back, I will squeeze her with my bare hands. Oh, yeah, my dear. Please, take hand. Hmm? You see, my husband and myself, we are going to send her very far away from here. Where she will not get to see your husband again. And as for that, your husband. Throw pepper into his eyes. Pepper into his eyes. That is simple. Lure him into bed and then put pepper in his manhood. That will teach him to control it. Let's go. Take me out of here. Together, my love. I have never felt to love like this before. See, got you. <sighs> Ibuema, you think I would abandon you? Why are you like this? Listen, Ibuema, forget about the rantings of you. Forget about all the noise she's been making. Listen, I have a very good reason to fall in love with you or any other person. Do you understand? Is that why you are hiding in this corner? You know, staying so sorrowful. Be bright. I will never leave you. Remember. Hmm? Be happy. I don't want you to be. Look at the way you are hiding like a slave girl. Not a slave girl. You're a woman. Hmm? Okay, I want to abandon you. I want you to be happy. Oh? No, mama. Hmm? Hmm? Oh? 
just feel happy every time. I want you to be happy all the time. Let that never fall down. Babiako! Babiako! Oh, yes, yeah. oh, oh. What rubbish! What nonsense! So, you have the guns to appear here, both of you. Have you finished shouting? This is not a matter of shouting, Obiako. Stop that, whoa, whoa, whoa. Obiako, let me ask you a question. Eh? I, as I am in this community, if I want to take a second wife, as an elder, do you think I have committed any crime? I'm about to commit a crime? No. Mm. Oh. What did you swallow? Mm. Python's egg. Hey, how? Whoa, you can't talk again. I let that you people want to throw away her things. My wife came here, fed you whatever rubbish she fed you. And you want to suck her, throw her things. Please bring those things out. You have eaten the seed of madness, I am sure. You people stay and criticize other people from a distance. Have you investigated? Do you know why I am doing what I am doing? If you people were in my shoes, you would do worse. I tell you, before you begin to criticize people, walk a mile in their own shoes so that it will pinch you. You will have the experience that I had. In fact, you will do worse. You will pat me on the back for that. Now, can we have the bag? The bag? Yes, the bag. Fine, let me have it. Obiako, you don't have conscience. Treat people like human beings. She's not a beast. Thank you, we'll take it. You have to have conscience at times because we're all human beings. Obiako, you might be happy. Some of that thing might be making you unhappy. Think. You are a man, I am a man. If you have my kind of experience that I have, if you have what in my shoe, Obiako, you give me a pat on the back for taking this girl. Hypo. Let's go, yes! Beat! Thank you! Now, this is where you'll be staying for the moment before I get to a better place. Yeah? You belong to my mother, but I grew up here. Okay? I have told you to do my mother. I'll take care of you. Oh? Papi. What is it? What is the matter? Papi, I don't want to marry you. I don't want to be a second wife. We'll talk about that more later. Right now, what is in my mind, paramount in my mind is for you to settle down after all that pressure. You understand? If you come in here, all the things you will lack nothing. Everything that you can need in the house. He said, because at times I come in here to have a quiet moment or you know rest. Why did I do this thing? Why have I done it? Let the heaven fall today. I'm not even going to care now. My husband, yes! That's why you're talking to yourself like this. Did anybody upset you? You saw us. Is that all you want to say? I know you are fuming. You want to fight. You saw me and we, with Ibema. Have you asked yourself, why is it that I would prefer Ibema to my wife? Have you thought about it? Have you thought who, what even prompted my going out in the first instance? You come there to shout. Let the heaven fall. Oh, 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 that foolish girl. Oh, please, forget about it. Eh? It's not important. Let's talk about something exciting, something nice. As far as I'm concerned, nothing happened. So why should we talk about it? Eh? Huh? Yo, are you saying I should just forget it? Are you saying you're not going to quarrel about it? Quarrel? Or you're planning on that thing? Uh -uh. No. Quarrel over what now? Quarrel with my own husband. To fear Over what? Over that foolish girl? <laughs> hey, look, that stupid girl decided to open her legs for you. And as a typical man that you are, you put something inside. End of discussion. 
<laughs> Why should I be bothered about it? My husband, the most important thing is that you're back home to your beautiful wife. And guess what? I have prepared something really nice for you. I'm sure you'll like it. It's your favorite. Oh, yeah? Yes. And look, if you want to take a bath, just tell me and it's done. Is this you? Come inside and rest. Today has been a difficult day for you. I don't like them stressing you like this. Come. Oh, when you yeah? take your bath, you eat the food and then you rest. Oh, huh? my husband. Did you have any visitor? Need a native doctor there? What do I need a native doctor for? It is you I need and you're here. This is not like you. Come inside. Come, come, come before your food gets cold, yeah? Oyo, how could you do this? How could you go look fetch your firewood all by yourself in this your condition? I looked around, I didn't see you around the house. Then I asked some villagers, they said they saw you come this way. Okay, give me. Don't worry. See, I am managing just fine. I wanted to uh, come and get firewood, but then I did not want to bother you. Bother me? Bother me now? <laughs> if you don't bother me, who will you? I'm your husband. <laughs> Do you understand? Give me. Give. Uh, no, no, no. I said I'm fine. Uh -huh. I made breakfast for you. I kept it on the table. Did you eat it? Who do you expect to eat it when I didn't see you around? How could I eat? I lost that bed until I found you. That's when I'm going to eat. <laughs> Papi, you know it's just like old times. You know, in those days, uh, you used to miss me every step of the way. Right. Even if I'm in the kitchen cooking and you've been in the living room, yeah. the next thing you start calling, Oh, yum! Oh, yum! I'll be looking everywhere for you. <laughs> Let's go before this wears you down. Hey. Come, 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 come. Papi. You said I shouldn't get this in office. No, don't worry, Papi. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, See please. suddenly changed, you know? Suddenly turned a new leaf. So, you no longer have any need for me now? Even my, how did I say that? Who says so? Tell me, why do you still come here? Why do you still take care of me? Is it out of the fact that you still have those soft feelings like you used to? Or do you come here out of duty? Duty because you, you, you promised to look after me. I come here more out of confusion. Ibema, place yourself in my shoe. I am confused. Ibema, you know I will never do anything to hurt you. But you will hurt me. How? How will I hurt you? Is that not where all this is leading to? I must leave this village. Go somewhere else far from you and your family. Take memories of you and go. Until someday, when your child is born, he will forever remind me of you. When my child is born? I don't understand. Yes. Um, I've known no other man but you. And my monthly cycle is three weeks late in coming. I think I'm pregnant. I will not sit here and allow her to tie you with any pregnancy. Do you understand? I mean, going at those days that women used to tie men down with pregnancy. All she's trying to do is to tie you down, and I won't let it happen. In short, what am I saying? Let me go and have a word with her, woman to woman. Mm -mm. By the time I'm done with the enemy outside, I will come back to this house and you will face me. Yeah. What is it? Oh, please. Is it because I've been keeping quiet, acting like an idiot, hoping that you, you, you realize your mistake and correct yourself? Oh, you're, send you're, that girl away. Whatever happens, don't go there to embarrass yourself. What did you say? I said, leave her alone. I should leave her alone? Yes. Did she leave me alone? What did she leave me alone? Did she do anything? Okay, no, just wait for me. Oh, yo. Oh, yo, don't go to cause trouble. Oh, yo. You 
Ben ma. He ben ma. Oye. What is this nonsense I'm hearing? That you're pregnant. That's correct. For who, if I may ask? Well, he knows himself. Don't you go answering me like that, you farmhand. Listen to me. If truly you're pregnant, I advise that you go into the village and look for one of those village boys who got you pregnant. As far as I can. My husband did not make you pregnant. Do you understand? <laughs> I mean, if you could so shamelessly sleep with him, who knows how many men you've slept with? I suggest that looking for the father of your child will be a thing for the oracle, or don't you think so? Because nobody knows how many men a whore opens her legs for. Run away from this village. Leave this village otherwise. I promise you. You will face no disgrace. Farm hand. Flush my pregnancy away. I beg you, please. Hmm. 
The girl is young. And she's beautiful. Which is even what I find most amazing in this whole thing. Doesn't she want her own man? Doesn't she want to be madame in her own home? Just like I am madame in my own home. Why is she so bent on sharing my husband with me? Listen, Oyo, this girl found a lonely man and then <laughs> one thing led to the other and she fell in love with that lonely man. Is that a crime? Eh, I didn't say so. Uh -huh. I did not say it was a crime. Ha. How can loving somebody be a crime? Just like I have changed from the nagging wife to a loving wife. That means she must leave you alone. And you think that is easy? Somebody you have emotions for. The part is just like that. You think it's that easy? Then you must leave her. If she is not ready to leave you, you will do the leaving. Not why she's carrying my baby. She's pregnant. Listen, Oyo, now that you have decided to find peace, let's allow her to deliver. After she had delivered, then if she still have these emotions for me, we now begin to think about bringing her in as a second wife. Impossible. <laughs> Papi, not in this house. Did you hear me? Except you want this house to fall. Oh. That will be over my dead body. Papi, let me tell you something. It's either I will leave and she will stay, or she will leave. Whether she likes it or not, you think I'll say and what you bring in another person to this house? Because I've been keeping quiet. Okay, oh. now try it and see. You cannot oh, even rubbish. do the what cost it in the first place. This is guess what? What is it? The girl just. What, is it? Yeah. what has happened? What, what is it? Ibema. Ibema. What happened? This is Ibema again. What has she done this time? Come with me, Okay. She thinks she, she, she can take my husband away from me. Ibema. Let us see how that will happen. What happened? This is Ogili, she lives on the ground. <laughs> they look like Osinga leaves. I'm sure she wanted to eat Osinga leaves, but she ate the wrong leaf. <laughs> Osinga hey! leaves? For what? Why? Osinga leaf causes miscarriage in early pregnancy. Miscarriage? Yes! <laughs> Ibema! why did you do this to me? Ibema! Why did you do this? Why? <laughs> so you said she was going to leave me. Or I will leave her. Ibama has left. She has left. Ibama has left me. <laughs> But I'm happy. I gave her a little happiness before she left. For those of you who do not know what it takes to bring a smile in the face of a servant, you swim in happiness. You swim in affluence. This poor servant enjoyed a little bit of happiness for me. And I thank God for it. If you should not have left me.
this way. I saw something. Well, what did you see? Animal, bed or beast? I'm not sure. But I saw something there. But I am going to go outside there and see whatever it is. No, no, man or woman. Nobody in this village will succeed to make us live in fear again. Not after all, all this trouble and noise they've been making over an incident that was hardly your fault. No, give way, give way, give way. Did you see it? Who is there? I can't see anything here. Eh? Papi, what did you say you saw? Because me, I can't see anything. I saw something. Maybe the thing has gone away. Gone away to where? <laughs> I saw something. Where is the something you saw? <laughs> Papi, you are now the one acting like a pregnant woman. No? You're now the one hallucinating and seeing things when there's nothing. I eh? saw something. So where is the something? Oh, I saw something. <laughs> there is nothing here. Eh? Chino is very good to see you scared. No, it's not as if I'm scared. Though. I'm not scared. No, you are scared, papi. You should see the look on your face. I am, I am not scared. <laughs> you know what? Let's go inside. Let's go. Let's go inside. There is nothing here. Eh? This way you're not nagging and complaining and seeing A man, come out or I'll shoot. I said, Come out. I have been coming to you. You have been running away from me. That does not make my spirit happy. Can I be with you for a while? Keep you company. I am the restless spirit of the woman you once loved long ago. I have found no peace in the land of the spirit. I killed myself. So I am condemned to walk the earth and roam the air till the time for my judgment comes. But you're dead and I'm still alive. There is no way you can keep me company. You once loved me long ago. Or have you changed? No, but you see, the living and the dead don't have the dead. They are not on the same sphere again. I mean, we 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 were two separate worlds. If you keep saying these things to me and running away from me. You make me angry, and my anger you cannot handle. I will go, but I will come back. And when I do, please be good to me, for I still want to see you. I still love to see the man whom I once loved as a living girl. We cannot be together. We live in separate worlds now. The land of the living and the land of the dead. So please don't come.
What is it? Bring water. Pour water. Pour water. Pour water. Hey. Hey. Oh yo, come on. Oh yo. Come, come, come. He has opened his eyes. Thank God he has opened his eyes. Hey, papi. 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 Hey. Where am I? Am I dead? God forbid. Papi, you are alive and you're in your compound. Obins and Awada found you lying in the bush unconscious. They quickly brought you home. Since then, we've been trying to revive you. What happened to you? What happened, Papi? They put me inside the house. But now, tell us, what happened to you? We found you lying helplessly in the bush. Almost dead. I took him go. I... I suddenly felt so weak. The last thing I remember... The, the, the last thing I remember... My God, for this. Ow! My God. <laughs> Um, Chineke, what he needs is rest. Yes. So let's take him inside. Let's take him inside, please. Hey! Chineke, thank you. Who could have told my Bunta that while I was pregnant, the father suddenly died to fear? Thank God. Though. Please, take him inside. Mm -hmm. Let me quickly make him something to eat, please. Okay, please, please do. Hey. Lord. Do you remember that girl? He went back the one who died. Of course I remember her. I saw that girl. You saw a ghost? Do such things still happen these days? How do you expect me to believe that? Believe it. A lot of things happen these days, you know? In fact, if somebody rushes in here to tell you that cockroaches are now eating human beings, wrong. Well, if it is true, it will be safe to tell the story. If it's a lie, I've nothing to lose. A lot of things are happening. I said I saw that girl today. Papi, what is your point? My point is that I saw a ghost. And I spoke to a ghost. You know the worst? She said that she still loves me. And that she will continue to visit me. And... It is herself she will visit. Not my husband. To fear God. What? I can't hear anything, Papi. Are you alright? So, where do you think you're going to? Eh? Even if there's a ghost outside, what do you think you can do about it? Uyo, it is me that she wants. Let me go and confront her. Do you think if she wants to come in, all these things will stop her from coming? Can you say ghost? What is this? No worry. Somebody has died. She only... So, what now? Nothing. I've only come to be with you a little. Stay with me a little. It's a lonely existence for me now. Stuck in the middle passage. The dead to my right and the living to my left. I came left to see you and to be with you. Why? 
Why do you seek me? Why, why do you seek the living? You're dead. You still live in me. I died carrying your child. In my spirit, I still carry your child. Come. Come with me. Let's get out of here. Let's take a walk. You and I, together again. No. Are you refusing me? The dead has no business walking with the living. You're dead. You don't have business walking with the living. Don't say that. Do not remind me that I have no life. Papi! Papi, why are you doing all this? You are living in a world of imaginations and you are losing your mind. Is that what you think? You think I'm losing my mind? You think I'm mad? That I'm crazy? I'm telling you, I saw her, I spoke with her. She spoke with me. And you're telling me I'm losing my mind. Is that all you can think? I am losing my mind. Hey. What is this? What kind of problem is this? Hell! Mas, the greater good. <coughs> Hang this in the hut. Which of the hut where she stays? Yeah, in that hut now, where she stays. The maiden that died lived in that hut. Yes, of course. Eh? Of course. Hey. Now, when you hang it, clean out that hut very, very well so that you break the link between her and you. Eh? Yes. Then gather all her belongings inside her hut. Take them inside the bush and bury them. And bury them, not burn eh, them. Eh, don't burn, bury them. Make sure you put a yellow palm front, a yellow palm front in a hole. Yellow palm front. Eh, in the hole. In the before hole. You, be, you cover it. Then burn incense in that hut. If you burn incense, it will chase the spirit of the maiden away. The spirit of the maiden lives in that hut from where she comes to pay you visits. Buruka, buruka. Kete. Kete. I respect you, greater God. Do it. In fact, it will be done exactly the way you have instructed. Do it. You say it is yellow. Uh, palm palm front, front, yellow palm front in the hole inside, inside the, the hole room. before you cover then burn incense then i burn incense yeah okay, okay. <laughs> it shall be done do it it shall be done do it ha 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 you know what you know Someone in there? Oh. Who? Someone in where? I don't know. I, I saw no one, but I felt a presence. <laughs> it's just fear. <laughs> it's the mind. Nobody is there. 
Greater God gave me something that I hung on that wall. There is no way she can enter here until we finish whatever we're doing. <laughs> Wait, Papi, you <laughs> really must trust this your great Agodi. Oh, yes, I do. Or would you rather I do the interior and you do the exterior? <laughs> Don't worry. Let me go and continue from where I stopped. You just go ahead. <laughs> Talk of fear. My wife is dying. My wife is dying. Come help me save my wife. My wife is dying. My wife is dying. Help me, please. Help me, please. Help What do you want? What do you want, Ibema? You want to kill my wife? You cannot. You want to destroy my family? This time around, Ibema, I am going to fight you soul to soul. Willpower to willpower. Foot by foot, I will fight you. You think you can leave me and be happy? No, I will not let you. You and I have parted company. I want you to go your own way. Let me go my own way. You are dead. I'm leaving. You are stuck with me. You said you love me. Those words bind you to me. I can hear her. Mm -hmm. I can now hear her. It is a lie. Tell her it is a lie. It is a lie. It is a lie. It is a lie. I will destroy you. I will rise in my anger. I will strike your wife. And no one can save you from my hands. Because you are good Uh -huh. I thank you. I'm on my knees. Don't let her get to my wife. I will revive her. You are with the great God. I trust you. I will give you something that will make sure that that evil one doesn't disturb her. Thank you, Uruke Uruke. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. 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 Thank she can't get, she has no powers over us now. They will work in this video. Oh. 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 I 
I see she is now cooling down. Eh? Mazi, I will give you something very strong that will make sure that the evil one never gets to her again. But Buruke, that was what you said last time. When you gave me that thing, you said I should hang on the wall. Eh. You didn't stop her from, from, from coming. Eh. You didn't stop her from causing havoc. Buruke, please, if you want to give me, give me something that will work. Eh, Mazi, because that time I didn't know her. Now I can hear her and I know her power and energy. Do you hear me? I will do it. Trust me. If, if you can, if you're sure you can. If you cannot, let me go to these church people and see if I can invite them. Before it becomes too late. <laughs> Chugging it. Church. <laughs> you are not a church man, you don't go to church. Everybody in this village knows that. Suppose you go and call the church people and they refuse to come. If I tell them it's a matter of life and death, I think they will consider me. Uh, uh, suppose they come. How are you sure that they can drive away that uh, evil spirit? Tell me. Eh? Trust me, Mazi. I will do it. Do you hear me? Alright, if huh? you say so. Mazi, look at me. I will chain her spirit. Hmm? I will chain her spirit so that she can never get out of that grave again. Do you hear me? If you say so. Call her name three times and strike your palm three times at the head of the grave. After that, I begin the process of chaining her spirit. After chaining her spirit, she will never leave this grave forever to come and disturb you anywhere until both of us grow old and die. Okay. Mazi! The love of my life. Eh? I'm not hearing me. Do it now. Go ahead and do it. I will not do it. Yeah? I can't. Maz, this was a girl who was in love with me. We had an emotion. Huh? Why will I come and change her soul and spirit? For what? Ma that would be so wicked of me. Ma her soul and her spirit, I want to be free. How can I do that to her? I mean, I even have her in my memory now. All good memories, no bad memory. So why should I come and punish her? Mazi, it is not her soul that we are chaining. It is her spirit that comes out here to come and disturb you. That is the one we are chaining. What is it? Now, nah, God, it is the same thing. Soul and spirit is just the same thing. And I can't do it to her. And that is it. In fact, if she lies, let her come and kill me. Let her come and tell her I said that. Hey. I'm tired of all this nonsense. Let her come and kill me. Let me die. Mazi, Mazi, wait. So, what of your wife and the, 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 the unborn child? Are you not thinking about them? Look, their lives are not in my hands. Huh? It is in God's hands. I don't have control over their life. Hmm. Do I? Let her come. I'm ready. Ma, is it? Ma!
run away from me any longer. This torment is too much. If you want to kill me, kill me. Let me die. Let me rest so that you can rest. What is this? Why would I continue to run from you and you continue to torment the life of, of, of myself and my family? Kill me. Ibuma. This is a good position to die. So that you can rest and I too can rest. When I get to the land of the spirit, I can now release my wife. Whom you have made so unconscious. So kill me, what are you waiting for? I'm ready to die in your hands. When he came to my grave in the afternoon with the native doctor, I was there. I saw you. And it calmed my spirit to see that you're still a man full of compassion. Your refusal to change my spirit was good. For if you did, I would have broken for you. For my spirit is an angry one. For now, I am calm, and I have not come to take your life. Still, my spirit will torment you day and night, and your wife shall remain in coma, unless you go to my grave. Pack a handful of sand, and journey far away to my village. Find my deserted home and drop the sand there. Do this for me, Papi. Take Ibema home to her land and have peace. But I don't know your land. I don't know your land. You never told me where you come from. So how can I find it? Ask. Inquire. Seek a village called Aboge. Okay, if I want... Too quiet. I hope all is well because she she's not even. <clears throat> you know, she has not eaten since yesterday when this thing happened. If she goes without food, she will die. You. They say you should take her to hospital so that they can give her a drip. It is a matter of hospital now. Before you travel. Eh? Look at it. It is, it is plain. Go and call the um, this hospital people, nurse. Eh? Let the nurse come with their motor. 
to carry her. Two of us cannot carry her to the hospital. It is far. Hmm? Look at it. They say you should bring the take her to the hospital. That's all. Okay. Hmm? Uh, bring the people with their motto. What is it? Come down. This is the road to Abogi. I should come down. Ah. So which means it's very close? Follow you straight. Down, 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 down. Ah. But is it safer? It's far now. Hey, I paid you to take me to, to that place now. Take me to that place. No. I can't take you there. What are you my bike spoiled there? Who's going to repair it for me? You mean I have to walk this distance? Yeah, but what are you going there to do? Is it any of your business? I'm looking for direction to uh, Abog. I don't know where I missed my track somewhere. It's down that way. That's where I'm going to. That's where you're going? Yeah. Ah! May God be praised. Are you from that area? Yes, I am. Eh. Then you must know Ibemma. She comes from that place too. She's a servant girl who used to do some you know, services in uh, other villages. I know her. Oh, really? Yes. I mean, who doesn't know her in this village? They say she has eyes like a dull moon. It is her place that I'm going now. <laughs> oh, I thank God for giving me a guide. I, you didn't tell me your name. Alice. Alice. And you? Why people like you call me Papi? <laughs> oh, I... Igbema is a foolish girl in this town. Igbema was a terrible girl in this town. Always running to live with men from other lands. That's a very wrong thing to say about a girl. And the girl that had made me tell all these all, all these things, all this why. That I'm stressing all these things is because of this girl. And this is what you're saying. You're, you're just describing the girl just like that. A tramp. Why do you even seek her home? It's none of your business, my business. Eh. Why do you ask? I guess I miss my way. Eh? I must have taken the wrong turn at some point. So what do we do now? I don't know. A mom, I don't know. I think we have to we have to sleep here and continue tomorrow. <laughs> what? Are you angry? Eh? Okay. Go ahead. Shout! Scream! Scold me! Call me names! I have never called you any bad name since we started this journey. The only name I have called you is Alice. That's the only name I've called you. I have not insulted you in any way. As for anger, I'm no longer privileged to use such emotions. It's no longer in my book. Hey! So, so, no matter what I do, you won't get angry. You won't get angry. Eh? Uh -huh. what, what, what kind of a man are you? Eh? What kind of a man are you? What? What's in a bag? Sand. What use? No use. So you go around carrying things that have no use to you. Are you some kind of fool or something? Eh? Roaming around the bushes and track roads of this village looking for a foolish girl. Igbema is not a foolish girl. She wasn't and she will never be. And I will never remember her as such. She is a foolish girl. She's not a foolish girl. She's foolish. She's, She's foolish. Not. She is. What? Is she your mistress?
you think I talk too much? Please, can you shut your mouth for some time so that we look for a place to, to, to rest? You have, you know you talk to me, I didn't say that. Hey, hey, so I'm talking too much, Kwaya. You say that. No, 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 no. I'm talking too much, Kwaya. Anyway, I don't blame you. I blame myself for volunteering to show you the way. You did not volunteer. You said this thing leads to your, to, to your village. And you are going that direction. So how can you call it volunteer? What if I lied? Yeah. Okay, Olu. Come now. I thought you said we have missed our way. Oh, do you know that is that not the right direction? Can you just call him because? Fine, if you said that's the way, let us go. That is the way. Come, let us go now. If you said if you are happy, you It's dry meat. This is the only thing I can find in my basket to eat. I know you're hungry. I see. Thank you very much. <laughs> what did you give to me? Stone! <laughs> you gave me stone. <laughs> what were you expecting it to be? Hmm? Well, I've been on this journey together. Did you see me branch off anywhere to, to, to get meat? Careful, oh, before you hit me. It's a joke now. Ah, uh, can't you take a joke? Selfish man. Hmm? I got you there. I got you there. Well, I've been on this journey. Did you, did you ask me if I want to eat anything or if I've eaten anything? I'm sorry. You should be sorry. You should be sorry. You better be sorry. Alice!
Alice! Please. What is it? Can't you do without me? Or are we twins? The sand. What sand? The sand in the, in, in the black uh, 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 bulletin bag. The one that you said was not important to you? Yes. I threw it away. You what? Don't you ever grab a lady like that. Do you think I'm a man like you? Okay, whatever happens, please, 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 show me where you threw it away so I can collect it. Please. That sand contains my life. Selfish. Selfish. Always about you, not so. Look, that sand also means the repose for someone's spirit, someone so dear to me. Please, I beg of you, show me why you threw it away so I can collect it. What manner of a man are you? The one who pleads with, with one that has hit him and caused him so much discomfort. I'm a man who acts out of experience. Here is the sound. I lied. I didn't throw it away. Oh! Oh! But when I when I woke up and I, you were still there snoring, I, I decided to go go with the sand. Something told me you would come for it, and in doing so, you will find me. Thank you. Thank you very very much. Oh. Why why is it so important to you? Like I said, it means the repose for the soul of someone so dear to me. Someone I regard so highly. Someone I can never forget. But unfortunately. Ah, thank you for getting me this sand back. Ah, Alice. If a bogey, if that a bogey exists on this earth, I must get there today. Here? Yes. So what next? May your gentle soul and spirit be at rest now. You who roam the world. May your spirit be at rest now. Okay. Yes, you have to hurry back to your land. Because as we speak, your wife just put to bed to a very handsome male child. My wife? How did you know that? How did you even know my wife was pregnant? Papi, you're a very good man. And your goodness has conquered your problems. I will let you be down. And forever, you will find good fortune on earth. I know you don't know who your companion has been on this journey. Ibama! Ibama! 